Some of the new designs that we've taken for season two versus season one is simply about adding more uh, tattoos to try to create, I suppose, more of a language in terms of how these uh, Vikings express themselves artistically. And the makeup reflects that to a point. And I think for me this year, to try and just go beyond that, just in terms of expressing what they may have done artistically, is just to employ some more tattoos or some more of the the work that they would have done in tattoos. And so the challenge is not only about making the tattoos, but it's also about finding where you would put that tattoo so it doesn't fit into the context of how you or I might, you know, or where you or I might place a tattoo like that. So Rollo means really. famous wolf, and we have the wolf analogy where the, we have two wolves in uh, Norse mythology chasing the moon. Is that right? Yeah. And the sun. And the sun. One eating the sun and one devouring the moon. <laughs> In terms of prosthetics, a lot of what we do is we do large gaping wounds and you know, huge you know, visceral cuts. We have tons and tons of scars that we pepper our cast with, um, depending on, again, how the story dictates how they look. In the classic sense of the word, the most fun in terms of what we have to produce in terms of prosthetic is the seer. Do you have any other questions? He's a really meaty, visceral character. He paints this enigmatic picture uh, within his story and uh, the makeup is reflected by that, I think. You know, it's, just, it's a really nice piece to, to make up. You see, we're telling the story of the Vikings and the Vikings' journey through Europe in terms of makeup of people that are, you know, waging not so much a war, but, uh, you know, uh, they're on a journey. And so, in terms of makeup, I've wanted to reflect that. 